Peter, how does Google instantly know if a username like mine is already taken? There are like a billion accounts. They use distributed databases like Bigtable, Cassandra, or Spanner. Each username is stored as a key and indexed, so a lookup is just a super fast read. Don't patronize me, Peter. I know what an index is, but there must be thousands of servers. Does that mean each one has to check its index to see if my username exists? No, only one server needs to check. That is what consistent hashing solves. It maps your username to a specific server using a hash function, so the system instantly knows which node is responsible for that key. No broadcasting, no guessing. Okay, but still, each database must be storing terabytes of usernames. Reading through a massive index every time still sounds painfully slow. That is where Bloom filters come in. They are fast data structures that check whether a key might exist without actually reading the data. Each data file, like an SS table in Cassandra, has one. If the Bloom filter says no, that data file is skipped completely. That way, the system avoids wasting time on unnecessary disk reads. So it is like a super fast gatekeeper that blocks bad guesses before they waste time? Exactly. And to go even faster, companies push read-only replicas of these username indexes to edge locations, servers physically closer to you, so your browser does not have to wait for a reply from halfway across the globe. Wow. All that just to tell me username taken in half a second? That is modern infrastructure for you.